Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks, and today I'm going to answer a question, a really good question, that came in to us from David Mossman2405 on YouTube in the comments section to a previous video we did about how to switch party mode on or off on the Infinix GT20 Pro uh, in terms of its lighting on the back. So David asks us, how do you multitask on this phone? Also, how do I get the back button at the bottom of the screen homepage? So that's a really good question. So if you've seen our setup video, in the setup video, uh, you have the options to set up your phone to have gesture navigation or the three bot buttons at the bottom of the screen. You get choice, that's what Android's all about. But the way Infinix have done this is very similar to what Google do. Uh, you have your multitasking. You multitask by pulling up from the bottom, just off the screen, put your finger on the edge of the phone and pull up. And that will open your multitasking and you can go through your open apps. On the other hand, um, if you want to go back to the three button navigation, it's quite simple. Go to settings. In the settings menu, go to all the way to the bottom, click on system. You have at the top an option for system navigation tap on that and then choose three button navigation. Now, Infinix uh, obviously do not just stop at that. You have more settings you can choose from. You can choose the order of the buttons. If you're someone who prefers the sort of Samsung Xiaomi style with the back button on the right, you can choose that. Or if you prefer the Google uh, Android AOSP mode with the back button on the left and multitasking on the right, you can. Both these options have your home button in the middle. But I'm going to go with the Google way, that's how I, I prefer it, but there you go. And as you can see, I have the buttons at the bottom of the screen for multitasking, home and back. Now, likewise, if you prefer to have gesture navigation and you want to turn that on, it's as simple as going into the settings menu, go from the top, scroll down all the way to the bottom, press system, system navigation and choose gesture navigation if that's the way you want to do it. Now there is also a setting for gesture tutorial. It walks you through all the gestures to navigate around your phone. This seems to be the way a lot of manufacturers want to do things nowadays. But if you prefer three button navigation, that's always an option. Anyway, thanks to David Mossman2405 on YouTube for leaving us a comment and a really good question. Um, I hope this video has been useful to you. If it hasn't, if you'd like to thank us, if you have anything else to say to us, please do leave a comment in the section below. And as usual, uh, likes and subscriptions are always appreciated. Here at Tech Travel Geeks, we cover consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, anything we think makes the travel experience better, including fashion. Anyway, I'll wrap this video up. We'll be back with more content soon. Uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Bye!